let's start with a new topic from the chapter real fluid flow today we'll learn about the laminar flow through a pipe <music> Laminar flow is defined as that type of flow in which the fluid particles move along well defined path or a streamline and all the streamlines are straight and parallel so in this figure i can say the blue lines indicate my streamlines and these streamlines are straight as well as parallel to each other thus the particle moves in a laminars or layers gliding smoothly over the adjacent layer this type of flow is also called as a streamline flow or viscous flow so over here we are having zero velocity while at the center i can say we will be having the highest velocity of the flow now what are the characteristics of laminar flow in laminar flow the fluid particles move along straight parallel paths in layers or lamina such that the path of the individual fluid particle do not cross those of the neighboring particles that means if the layer is sliding and this layer is sliding they won't cross each other they won't be going like this so this is not the case in laminar flow but they slide over each other and flow parallel to each other it occurs at low velocity so that the forces due to viscosity predominate over the inertial forces the viscosity of the fluid induces relative motion within the fluid as the fluid layers slide over each other which in turn gives rise to shear stresses that is tau the magnitude of shear stress or i can say viscous shear stress so produced varies from point to point being maximum at the boundary and gradually decreasing with increase in the distance from the boundary the shear stress so produced result in developing a resistance to flow in order to overcome the resistance to flow the pressure drops from section to section in the direction of flow so that the pressure gradient exists an expression resulting or i can say an expression relating shear and pressure gradients in laminar flow may be developed which may be used to analyze the various cases of laminar flow in this laminar flow to identify the laminar flow we must know the reynolds number thank you